Today we're looking at the capillary mat systems from Sustainable Village. Um, these are the complete capillary mat systems utilizing the blue mat technology with our surface blue mats. Here are some of the components that we'll need to set this up. Uh, we have a pressure reducer, some superflex, a little bit of three millimeter tubing, and a couple of eight millimeter shutoff valves. So the capillary mats uh, are made of four layers. The first layer is this non-permeable membrane, and that you can lay on the floor, um, if you have concrete floors or, or like wooden tables, any kind of metal mesh benches, anything that's flat, um, we can lay these uh, right on there and they're sealed on the edges um, so that we don't need tray or anything like that underneath it. The next layer is this thick, uh, thick felt layer, and that is going to hold the, the, the bulk of the volume of the water that's hydrating the plants. Uh, the next layer is kind of this very airy, kind of poofy felt layer. It's going to keep this permeable layer up off the wet felt layer um, until uh, something's placed on it, and then it can make contact and allow water to pass up through the permeable layer. Uh, we can see those same layers here uh, inside the, the lip of this custom-made mat. Now this mat is, I believe, two or two and a half feet by five feet. Uh, we can have these made in any size that you like, anywhere from about two and a half feet wide to nine feet wide and up to like 140 feet long. Uh, they'll come with all the edges sealed so that you can lay it down flat anywhere and it won't leak water out of the floor. This unit has a blue soak through it because we're using uh, a surface blue mat with it. Now this is a little bit long, so I'm just going to show you how to cut this material. You can just do it with a pair of scissors. If you look on the inside here, there's that uh, black channel. Um, that allows water to pass through any kind of stuck points in the system. So if uh, this gets pinched or kinked or anything like that, water can always pass through that point, through that channel. The way you use these fittings is to just back them off and slide this off like that. To attach the fitting, um, insert the black channel inside the hole and then slide the blue soak over the barb and then tighten it up. And we'll just repeat the process over here. Just like when we want to set the blue mats in soil, we need to hand water up to the moisture level that we want the blue mats to maintain. We need to do a similar thing here with this capillary mat. Um, this needs to get wet. In, in this case, I'm just pouring some water on this watering can. You can use a hose. Um, we just want to get this to a moisture level that's consistent with what we want. see that bleeding down into the capillary mat. So we'll give that a minute to absorb and get a nice consistent watering level on the capillary mat itself. So that this is nice and wet. They're called capillary mats because of the capillary action of spreading the water from side to side. Um, putting water in one place is going to make that much more wet than say out here, but over time that uh, felt is going to move the water across this is the surface blue mat. It's just like a regular blue mat. It's got a ceramic uh, disc instead of a ceramic cone. And that uh, ceramic disc is going to be measuring the moisture level of the, of the felt mat instead of the soil. So just like any other blue mat product, <coughs> we need to condition this. To do that, we remove the top and simply soak it in the bucket of water for 15 minutes. So this has been soaking for about 15 minutes. Uh, what we want to do is now put the top on it and let it soak for another 15 minutes. So we'll keep that under the uh, water. I like to take my thumb and just sort of massage the top of these blue mat uh, sensors. You get any air out of those. Uh, you can use a pipette as well. Now with both pieces under water, I'll seal it up. There's no air inside. That's the real goal. And we'll let that soak for another 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes later. Um, you can soak these longer, of course, but that's 15 minutes for each stage is sort of the minimum that we want to go with. 
Now we need to connect the surface glue mat to our supply line. Um, we're going to use an extra long piece of 3 millimeter tubing to do that. So just like any other uh, glue mat that we're putting into some supply line, we can just make a cut in the 8 millimeter tubing. Just insert these barbs. Once we connect the 8 millimeter tubing to the 3 millimeter tubing, we can then take the 3 millimeter tubing and run it through the top of the blue mat by loosening this and sliding it through. It'll then connect to the watering array. This will slide into this slot here. For some reason, there's no slot uh, on your mat. You can always just go ahead and cut it, uh, cut one in anywhere you want. Um, it's nice to have it closer to the edge, uh, but not right on the edge. In this case, we have it about you know, two and a half, three inches away. For the final stage, we just need to dial in the surface blue mat. We're going to do this with the same process that we do when we're dialing in a carrot, which is we'll disconnect this so that we're just looking at the end of the three millimeter line. I'll go ahead and open this until we get a flow. And then I'm going to dial it back until we get that hanging drip that we're always looking for. And then from here, I'm going to go back two triangles. You can see the triangle marks on here. One, two. But this is the uh, general layout. We have water flowing into this manifold. That goes into the surface blue mat, or into, sorry, the blue soap, which is going to then hydrate the felt mat. Um, if we were to open this all the way up, we would be running water into this and filling up the blue soap, which we can show in a minute. To do an overlook of all the parts and pieces of a capillary mat system, um, we'll start with the water source. You have your supply source, pressure reducer. This is an 8 millimeter shutoff valve. This is our Superflex tubing. Uh, that Superflex tubing is connected with, to the surface blue mat with this 8 millimeter by 3 millimeter reducing T. That goes through this 3 millimeter tubing through the surface blue mat into the manifold, and the manifold then feeds into the blue soak. Um, that same design is repeated on the far end to keep a circle of water flowing. Then you have your felt mat, um, your non-permeable layer on the bottom, and your uh, permeable layer on top. Finally, this is the end of your supply line. In our case, we have it capped with a uh, eight millimeter shutoff valve.